Hey, what's up guys? Been a while since I made a video. Check this one out. Uh, what you're looking at is a 110 ton, eight foot wide press brake that weighs 12,000 pounds getting loaded out of the container. This container uh, is one that I ordered full of equipment. It's got a CNC fiber laser in there, a laser rated air compressor, 25 horsepower air compressor. And then it also has this um, press brake press brake and the laser are going to North Carolina actually to two separate companies customers of mine that are just like two hours apart but they don't know each other but that's just how it worked out so the rest of the footage that you're gonna see is uh, a little bit about the trip going over to North Carolina there's the fiber laser loaded on my trailer and then some footage of me driving over there so I'm making this video in two separate parts the uh, the first part here is just going to show a look at the laser running and then a tour of this facility that the uh, laser was installed in this is a company called tricity laser over in forest city north carolina just north of the south carolina border and um this trip i ended up having to go there twice to get the laser fully operational and i'll talk about that more in the next video but what you're going to see is um the laser running and then flip over to show you the laser welding shot. Basically, I'm building up a, a weld area where all this has been mashed in and eroded because of the, they're running 30% glass filled uh, nylon. And it erodes, erodes the, uh, the parting line on the plastic ejection mold. This is actually uh, part of a pump housing for a uh, submersible pump. Uh, what I'm running right now is a 25,000 H13 tool steel welding rod. Of course, I can go bigger if I want to, but there's reasoning behind that. And right, now I'm going back to back and kind of flowing the, the, the weld in. Uh, I could actually, I'm running about 9 hertz, I could actually run, uh, I think 32 with this, this, this is an extremely powerful uh, welding laser, Laser Star, uh, nice, nice piece of equipment, it's a full CNC model too, it can, it can run CNC, of course I'm running manual right I didn't catch the so let's get the control can you just jog it with the controls like you did there yeah. it's resistive uh, basically the, the harder you push it the faster it'll go and this is actually programmable so is that the x-axis there 
And then and then Y goes in and out. Y. Okay. Z. Z. And then R. Oh, you have a rotary. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, gas, fumes. Uh, fume extraction. Yeah, fume extraction. There's an accumulator unit over there. Uh, there's a spark arrestor. Uh, yeah, boy. And like I said, this is a full CNC model. What um, power source is this one? Uh, 300 watt IPG. Is it fiber? Fiber, yes, sir. Okay. Fiber. What this thing was, you know, we could, that's an old well, but you know, mm -hmm. what this thing was, yeah, these are like my, hold on, mm -hmm. my go and no go gauges, okay? What are those? These are these bands that they stretch around this. Oh, gotcha, okay. And what that is, they put a, an anode on here and, and they put uh, a, a computer chip on there, or a cell phone chip, and they laser cut these things. And after a certain amount of usage, they throw those away. I gotcha. This, this, this actually machine so, was set up, actually, do that. I got you. Okay. Okay. So the the glass is reused, but that no, the glass is thrown away after a period of time. So it's it's completely sacrificial. Correct. Okay. The whole thing's thrown away. I got you. Okay. And then of course this was set up uh, a little differently, but where you would where we'd weld. That's that's what the little fixturing thing is for that. Mm hmm. Let me clean this up a little bit. What's welded on it? Right there. Oh, I see. What are you going to say? There's half a million dollars worth of lasers in this shop. So this one here is what? Uh, that's a 100, 100 watt flash lamp pumped uh, gag laser. And this one? 200 watt flash lamp pumped uh, yag laser. And yag is the source? Yetrim aluminum and garden, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. And it's... Uh, uh, that's a full CNC model. That's not. And at the end here is a little clip tacked on showing me demonstrating Gary's new machine to him after I got it running. And uh, he's been impressed with it. And the feedback's been great in the last three months since they've had it up and running.